Why did Jesus have to die? Must God die for us to be saved? If God is the omnipotent God, all power belongs to him as we know, then why did he have to die? If God created this world by his mouth, just by the expression of his words, everything come to be, then why did he have to die? Is God a blood-sucking God? That he want the blood of someone to be shed before he could forgive? Then why did Jesus came to die? Information will tell you what, but inspiration will tell you why. You might be hearing that Jesus Christ came to die for you. He came that you might be saved. These are information. Do you know why he came to die for you? He came to die that we might be saved. Then why? Why can't he speak from heaven? And everything will be in order. Since by the expression of his word, he created this earth that we are living in. Then what happens to that power? When you understand the reason why Jesus Christ came to die, nobody will tell you to give your life to Christ. In Genesis chapter 3, the Bible tells us about the disobedience of the first man Adam to God. And God vowed when he told Adam, the day you will eat this fruit, you will die. Adam ate the fruit. Now, God is a merciful God and God is also the God of love and, ju and justice. There are two ways that are associated with God that are contrary to each other. That is mercy and justice. If you say, as we know, that God is the God of justice, you know what justice means. When God says something, he does it. In other words, if God says we are going to die, he has to make sure that we must die. That is what justice means. If God told Adam, the day you will eat this fruit, you will surely die. God has to make sure that we must die and that we should continue to die because he has spoken. God is faithful to his words. But what about his mercy? He is a merciful God. He is the God of love. When the mercy of God says, my people will not die, and God just says they must die, there is a contradiction there. Now, God wants us to die because he has spoken it. But his love is endless. He don't want to, us to die because he loves us so much and his mercy is infinite. Then what do you want him to do? He have to come and die for you. Not that God doesn't have power to speak from heaven and let everything be. But God is faithful to his ways. And when he says it is finished, I died for you, believe it that it is finished. When you don't believe, you will not receive. And if you don't understand why the reason why he came to die, you will be thinking, that the information you are receiving, that Christ came to die for me, I'm a sinner, Christ came to die for me, I have, I'm saved. No. Information does not change you, but transformation does. And transformation only comes through inspiration. There is a reason why you should believe in Christ today. He paid the debt that we could not pay. I want to give you a story. If your government of your country build a community and give you all the basic amenities, everything you needed, the water, your food, your shelter, schools, house, everything they provided, including light, money, mention to mention but few, everything, I mean everything you needed, they provided for you. Then, they put a counselor that will reproduce people that will fill the territory. And they started communicating with this counselor and give this counselor the principle of staying healthy in this community. And the counselor went and sold all this basic community to the devil so that the devil would be in charge of the community. And caught the communication by the virtue of what he does between him and God. He ended the communication, no access to God again, and the people he's reproducing now started suffering. Now, the community belongs to God. But the system of the community has been sold to devil. Then what do you want God to do? And God vowed and said, counselor, the day you will sell this community, I will kill you. But God love the community, including the counselor and everybody in the community. God don't just want to destroy the community because people have sinned against him. People have offended him. God will not just continue to kill people. Why? Because he is a loving God and merciful God. But remember that he has vowed and promised he will kill them. As a God of justice, he will. So he has to send his son to make sure that go and die for them because I have spoken that they must die. His son have to come and die for us. 
and establish and re-establish the relationship between we and God. That we might assess God, we might get everything we should. Then, after he said, it is finished, I've done everything. I've re-established the covenant. I've re-established the relationship. I've re-established this link between...